Okay, hello everybody and welcome to um, the the Losers Bracket Final, which is sort of like one of three semi-finals. It's pretty complicated. It's a it's a double elimination competition knockout. Um, this is Purple Chest versus Larkstar. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, and with me is Skuro Metzo. Hello, hello, hello everyone that's right dwarves versus Camry should be a fun matchup in this one Jim who do you uh who do you give the team advantage to and then who do you give the coaching advantage to in this game oh well I think I would pretty much always give the coaching advantage to PC against most everybody in the world but um the, I do think the racial matchup favors Kemri and Larkstar is certainly no slouch whatsoever. Larkstar is really, really good. So, absolutely. If even if you do think PC is better, or if you think Larkstar is better, it's not by much. <laughs> whoever, whoever is, you know, I guess if you had a Blood Bowl supercomputer and you could t tell who was the best, it, I'm sure they'd be really close. So it's going to be very close on uh, very close on coaching. Um, I do think the teams favor the Camry, but of course anything can happen, it's Blood Bowl can't it? Um, so you know, if you get if he gets a lucky chasm at Tomb Guardian or something, um, if there's a blitz or you know, something like that, you know, just crucial one in nines, crucial one in thirty sixes, anything can happen, can't it? But I think it's definitely a, a, a team advantage to the Camry. And we are in the money rounds now. I believe the loser of this game will end in fourth place. Hall home seventy dollars U.S. dollars. Uh, so that's like a valuable currency uh, again, maybe in the, in the in the world. And then the winner goes into the uh, top three. That's one hundred, two hundred, and five fifty respectively. Um, and at the uh, at the moment, we do have the the winners bracket semifinals between Andy Davos High Elves and Regor's Lizards going on. The loser of that game will play the winner of this game to find out who goes into the grand finals. Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting. It's all it's all a bit weird. So there will be three games today. Uh, there's this one and that one. Then there's gonna be the winner of this versus the loser of that. And then there's going to be the winner of that match versus the winner of the first one. So it's all quite complicated, but I will put the link in the YouTube description and everything. So there you go. Why is the team advantage for Kemri? Um, because of the three strength five guys and the guard, um, it's just hard for dwarves to deal with. You know, although they do have a bunch of guard themselves, they just don't have the strength. Um, they don't have that slayer next turn. Um, yeah, I was gonna say getting that slayer hit that early is a little scary. Yeah. At least he hit. At least he hit him with, uh, not with mighty blow. He could have. Uh, he could have pommed that guy, right? He could have. He could have put the tomb guardian in contact and pommed the uh, thing. I and mean, he's got the pom, which is which is very interesting, isn't it? He can, like, if you're gonna pom anybody, it's gonna be the troll slayer. So I'm surprised he didn't pom the troll slayer there, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously, especially good players will always protect the tomb guardians, and it's it's gonna be real hard. For, for PC to get good hits on the Tomb Guardians. Well, not when I say good hits, like anything other than a 1D or an uphill. So he's got to try and strand the Tomb Guardians one on one. But, you know, they're, they're just beasts, aren't they? Especially with Blob. They're really good positional pieces, aren't they? It's, this is like control, right? This is control bash, can we? Uh, with the strength. Yeah, and you you say that and instantly a skeleton getting 2 d <laughs> by a by a uh, by oh, a dwarf yeah. that stays in. Now also looking at the benches, we have two uh, well, a throw a throw raw and a skeleton could be a foul, but you don't love fouling stunties unless you got a really good one. And then on the other side, the run the backup runner, um, a little bit scarier to have to put in, but uh, still still nice to have. It's uh, certainly nice to have uh, for trying yeah. for a two or three turn score as well, isn't it? As we as we Absolutely. saw in action, so it's a good option. Yep, very true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. It's it's like yeah, they, I mean the skeletons are rubbish, aren't they? Armor seven, um, but you know, so you can you can hit the skeletons and you can you can remove those, but it's really hard to to get on the tomb guardians and the two. It's all about the tomb guardians, uh, like you know, positioning and control and stuff. I would say blitz raw. You can't again. You can't blitz the blitz raw. He can, he can he's, leaving, he's leaving his Slayer out to, to dry there, though. Yeah, yeah he can blitz him. Yeah. 
with the things, so he's, he's using the guard to protect other people and that. But so he, I mean, he does make a two D here, but the problem is, it's the cost, isn't it? And the uphill pounds. <laughs> that's a lot more. That's what you love to see is the dwarves right now. Yeah, that's the, that's a much more realistic thing to do um, against non-block the the non-block tomb guardians, the uh, stand firm ones. It, like it's quite good. So so obviously you can uphill block them. Like that's something you not something you want to do, but something you have to do sometimes. They don't have mighty blow. But at least you can push them away. Um, yep. <laughs> so, As evidence right here. Yeah. Larks start making them look at those reds too in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty interesting because the, the stand firm ones, you know, he's more likely to uphill those because they haven't got block. But then they've got stand firm. So these are protected against pushes with stand firm, while these are protected against both downs with a block. So all four Tomb Guardians are hard to uphill block, which is uh, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, also also the Tomb Guardians let him get in guard to get hits on all these other characters. He's not going for the uh, not going for the piling on. Which I think is is right here. I wouldn't have minded piling on the uh, thing. So yeah, interesting. It's gonna be very interesting <laughs> to see how Larkstar utilizes these strength five pillars. Not hitting the better player. Make him have to go back towards the Tomb Guardians, I think. No, maybe not. I think he'll protect his Blitzra with a Tomb Guardian. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what the fuck to do with Kemring and the shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're good if they get. They're good if they get like the dwarf. Well, it's interesting. It's interesting for PC though. It's a little interesting for PC because if he does continue down that right side, he's splitting his team up oh. a bit. He eats this maybe. Early, early in the drive, late in the turn. Oh, and the KO. Don't like that. No. Thick skull putting in work. <laughs> And now, now he can hit the blitz rather. And everybody else on the team pretty much. So this is yep. a, this is a nice little turn for PC here potentially. Yeah, this could be a lot of has not leveraged that strength thus far. No. What I notice about PC is he tends to not punch with mighty blow as much as you would as you would think he would want to, like, you know, he'd, again, like, like, uh, K-Fog prioritizes blocking with the right people rather than, uh, you know, like, the right players positionally rather than the right players to do damage. Yeah, exactly, Jelly, it's easy to say afterwards, yeah, the one and nine, but, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, if, if you, if you, if you want to, if you don't want to, I mean, I don't think no, 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 there was a bit of cost, but I mean, he could have just got punched anyway, so... I think a lot of the time, even if you're not going to re-roll it, it's still right to do it, isn't it? And PC, of course, being an absolute dwarf like veteran, PC's always gonna... prioritizes moving forward. He loves to get yeah. forward as fast as possible. I was going to say, he's pushing hard there, but you can't really blame him, because again, yeah, swinging back means you deal with more Tomb Guardians. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and the thing is, the Tomb Gun is running out of the game for a turn, so it's. Oof, GFI there. Ooh, GFI. The ball's safe, though. So he's not—he's not, he's he's not getting full ball yeah. forward where he could have got overstretched and uh, swamped. He's just getting yeah. some dudes forward as a—I like that. Yeah, as a vanguard, ready to move his uh, his poor arms in uh, behind afterwards. <laughs> oh, and the dubs early into the dub pass. 
I tell you what, imagine if he'd re rolled that, that, that fourth down into double skulls like Yak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Basically, got two choices with this tomb guardian, isn't it? He either goes in there so he can punch the uh, slayer, or he goes in here to shore up the center. Be interesting to see which route he takes. Also, surprising not doing safe moves first here. Uh, this could have been a double score. I feel like maybe he should have done the safe moves. You know, get the tomb guardian, unless he's, maybe he's happy with the tomb guardian. I think he's probably going to some tomb guardians around. He's at risk of getting that. Uh, <laughs> he's at risk of getting that guy served at the moment, isn't he? Oh, the the skeleton down here. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if PC will bother with that or try to push forward somehow. But it's hard, isn't it? These three, these three tomb guardians in the center. This tomb guardian on two. It's. Uh, this almost denies PC this side, so he's got to go back to this side somehow, but how does he do it? Especially how does he do with one dice blocks, because these bastards are strength five. <laughs> yeah, I think piling on against dwarves is generally crap, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not to say wrong, but crap, because yeah, you're probably it's, not going to hurt them. A little bit rough. Yeah, yeah, pile on for protection. But then the guard was in there, so I don't know. I think it's good on troll slayers. You know, they're only on eight, but I think uh, just on dwarf on a nine, you you should just think of the, that pommer as an eight blow guy almost. If you get the pommer runner or pile on a ru pile on a runner of troll slayer, or maybe on a on a natural AV break, so that you've got. Yeah, exactly as Fermia says, if you've got Mighty Blow still on the uh, on the injury. It's not so bad. This is, this could be a huge one here. Gets the boat down. Gets to move up the blitzer. Here comes the Reds again. Oh, it's, it's, no, stand firm. Oh yeah, it wasn't a two dice block, it was an uphill. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> but there you go, that push oh, of the boat down. Skull. God, I'm an idiot. Has to re-roll that, yeah. yeah. So that pushing the board down is absolutely totally what I was talking about. <laughs> Why, if you roll a pushing the board down, if, if because it's his choice, he can take the board down on his block guys and the push on his stand firm guys. That was the whole point of what I was saying. And then my mind went blank. <laughs> you confused me. I was like, shit, are we not synced right now? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I thought PC was just an idiot and wasn't in, hadn't chosen both down. And then, oh no, that's strength four versus strength five and the whole point of the game and the team. <laughs> Jesus. Well, now the, these Tomb Guardians with some good dice could really put the squeeze in on the dwarves here. Yeah. Uh, almost blocked the uh, the reverse. Yeah. I mean, definitely blocked the reverse at this point. Yeah. So I can he could reroll that. He's got the first one. And the piling on does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's as good a shot as he's gonna get at it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's like. And actually, the dead body blocks it. There's no jumping. There's no jumping rule in uh, in, in Blood Bowl Two. So uh, those two do block. Like you know, that does block the sideline, doesn't it? And now two stand firm. Yeah, this is uh, going to be a little sketchy for PC. I think. I wonder if he could have. I wonder if he could or should have made that three D. I don't think he should have done. Because the only way he could have done it would be with this guy, and I think it's, it's right to keep him back. Yeah, PC. 2 on 1, which is just nightmare for him. 2 on 2, 1 on 1. It's looking pretty ropey, a stun guy. It's yeah. so hard for dwarves. Honestly, I feel like Kemri are the worst possible matchup. Kemri or. 
can we feel like the worst possible matchup, even worse than Lizards? Honestly, when you when you're starting like you know a rookie TV, it's different when you've got a bit of guard, I guess. But at rookie TV, I feel like Kemri are the absolute worst yeah. matchup for for Dwarves because at least. At least against mm. bad players, you can hit their skinks and you might get lucky. <laughs> but against Kenry, there's just there's just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're strength five and you can't deal with them. <laughs> Brings that ball back uh, conservatively, and now it's red D time, I think. Yep. <laughs> it's the power all the way. No. It, oh, no, that's not a stand. No, that was a stand for him again. <laughs> yep, he gets nothing. Oh, uh, you, you confused me again. <laughs> I did it on purpose with this dry time. Cool, with your dry cool wit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, freed freed up a dwarf with that one, D, though. Just to move him right one square. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he still freed him up. <laughs> uh, oh, no, <laughs> Two squares. Two whole squares. Ninho fait la force. There's a skull. Oh, and there's another skull. Yep. That's horrible. I mean, what a horrible... Like, this just shows what a horrible matchup it is, isn't it? I haven't yeah. used a reroll on uphill blocks against a stand firm guy. Like, that's ridiculous. And... Wild Lark Star's really good. So is, so is PC, and it's just... Now, all that chain. being... Yeah. All that being said, though... Camry look a lot different on offense than they do on defense. That's true, yeah. I, I, think, I mean, you know, what you can do is here, look, he could uh, he could get the the blitzer in there and the other blitzer, no, the lineman in here, the blitzer in there, and he could block him and chain him into the tomb guardian. And then it doesn't achieve anything, but it would look nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it might have achieved something. But uh, it wouldn't. <laughs> Other than an additional block, it would only got an additional block, which probably wasn't worth it. Basing the ball. Oh, baby. Oh, he's don't he's about to blitz the ball, I think. Oh, yeah, I guess he's going to blitz it. Yeah, he's got the blitz right. Okay, well, yeah, basing is, the ball that, is different. And he's got yeah, tackle that as long well. Beard in, <gasps> yeah, the long beard in front of the guard, does, or in front of the ball, does not have guard. Uh, oh, there he goes. Gets it on See, the re-roll. I expect Balls him to loose. go one right and not two. And one right stops this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're totally right. You're totally right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's worth it. I didn't, I didn't realize that the, that he was the tackler and he was so close. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought he was doing it to base the ball, which seemed like a mistake. But obviously, basing the ball to get an assist for two D is eminently worth it. <laughs> Tier D with tackle on the uh, blodger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when your opponent's got a blodger and you get a 2D in with tackle, it's a pretty good. Yeah. That's a it's pretty good. It's generally worth it. And also, that guy has the ball in his hands. Yeah, yeah. it's generally, yeah. generally the play you want to go for. <laughs> yeah. And not even risking the, the one in nines. I like that. I like that play. Um, obviously, especially, especially after PC has used his rerolls on uphills. <laughs> now, um, uh, the. The Camry do not have a thrower on the pitch, right? So a uh, little, little sketchy trying to get that ball in hand, especially with the one reroll left. But yeah, PC under huge duress here might be conceding a, a disastrous uh, defensive touchdown to Camry. Yeah, but that, I mean that is a good point that they are a different animal on, on offense than defense. Yep. Yeah, which is why you want to go in zero zero here. <laughs> and, uh, well, ain't oh not boy. much stopping it now. Oh boy. One and nine's the dodge out, and this is spooky times. If uh, if Larkstar gets the ball in hand, it is uh, not looking great. No. I mean, it's already not looking great. It's looking like a loss. <laughs> yeah. You can even foul this runner as well, potentially. Yep, yeah, this is looking. This is looking real bad. PC. He's only got one reroll left, but yeah, I mean, definitely rerolls the pick up. There's no doubt, is there? Is, there, is but as long as you can power this guy, then you 100% reroll the pick up, and you can even foul as well, like instant reroll the pick up. 
No, oh, he even blitzes with him to make it a bit safer. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you did, you needed the power if you were. Ah, uh, you need to power if you're gonna block first, then blitz. Oh, he's gonna pick it up with the skeleton, but this means no foul on the air. Yeah. No foul on the runner this way. Yeah, okay, this is, this is, this is, yeah, this is, like, safe. I think I've uh, been a bit... Gets it! <laughs> Gets it, and, and uh, Scarp is off there, and not much PC is going to be able to do about this one. Uh, and I like the GFI there, because a lot of people wouldn't make the GFI, because Blood Bowl is a game of risk management, and you've got to let your opponent roll the dice, not roll in yourself, which is stupid, because <laughs> it's not as simple as that, and you making a 1 in 36 is better than giving your opponent whatever the ridiculous odds would have been of this runner. I can assure you, this the odds of this runner hitting the ball and popping it is, is more than 1 in 36. <laughs> yeah... See, I was looking. I was looking at the Slayer dodge, but that would have only been a double GFI base yeah. and a four plus. But I don't. I don't think I would have made that GFI. No, but but it def it definitely would have been. Like it's definitely the right decision to make the GFI. No jelly old no no. Don't encourage him. <laughs> hey, don't encourage me. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. That's a fair statement. Uh, we're all we're at Gdanix, Gdanix paying us for our uh, our uh, our awesome Blood Bowl uh, coverage and analysis. We're getting paid, right? In science? Mm, no. <laughs> Woohoo, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah even, maybe the second one to not get base was yeah. worth it, you know? Yeah. No, that was a good, I mean, that was a good play by, um, good cool-headed play by PC there, though. Um, because that is just a skeleton. Yep. What can go wrong there? Whereas in my brain, I'm just looking at what's the miracle dice I need to roll to try and get the ball out. And that, I don't think there were, was any anyway, but good play by PC to yeah. try and save this drive. Yeah. And, and, but that, and that's the thing, though, isn't it? Because now this is a 3 plus to score because it's a 1D without block. Yep. And yep. last turn, if you'd made the second GFI, it would have been a 2 plus. So yeah, now yeah no, it makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah, you know, so a lot of people say, a lot of people are wrong, and you know, maybe uh, you know, maybe it's to explain it to new players. Maybe some, maybe some veterans say it, simplify it to say it to new players. But I've seen a lot of like newer players say it as if it's fact, and uh, it's not fact. <laughs> he does yeah, get as Jaleel. As Jellyel is pointing out, dwarves with no scoring threats. Uh, so it's already a win for the Camry, uh, but now he wants the uh, the decisive win, as it were. Put that yeah. ball in the end zone. Go into his own drive up one nothing. Yeah, he definitely wants to get just attrition as well, doesn't he? Like he can pom, he can pom the troll slayer, and then he can assist the block, and then mighty blow him. Oh, he's not even doing it. What the hell? Oh, I guess he's gonna blitz. Oh, I am lost. <laughs> I'm completely lost. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, got he a got to the ball, isn't he? He's got a to the ball, an idiot. Yeah. But he could have still moved for the assist there. He could have still moved for the assist and hit with Mighty Blow. And he scores. He's going to get two shots at his KOs as well, but he still would have a full team either way. I mean, I've literally just said it was a 1 in 9. Instead of 1 in 36 just before, I mean, I've already forgotten what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. I haven't completely recovered from the Battle Brothers yet. Um, I did have a little nap, though, in between. <laughs> in, between the, in, in between the previous... The morning session and the evening session. It's all been morning for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is just... Still, still 30 minutes, still noon for me. <laughs> So, the legendary dwarf one turn. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's just going to go. Can he Can he pull it off with one Slayer and a full team? Uh, I don't think don't so. You need, yeah, I think you need two, don't you? 
And you can do you can do it with all rookies, but it depends on the on the setup. You don't need any any uh, if if your opponent sets up tight LOS, you don't need any frenzy. With one, with with one frenzy, you can do it. Um, but you know, it's like, is it even worth trying when you can just get three mighty blow hits? Well, no, two mighty blow hits and a foul, and try to you know increase your chances where the foul doesn't do anything. Well, maybe if you make two cars on the mighty blow hits, I'll just play for the riot. I'll play for the riot's better. Yeah, there you go. Get get cars and get cars and riot. A zero zero to start the second half. Andy Dava with a successful uh, defense. It looks like uh, over the lizards. Big advantage to him now, but it's still full team of lizards, and Dava looks to have seven players. Wow. <laughs> so there's a, there's is that right? I mean, I can't I can't control the screen, so I don't know for sure. But I see seven elves on the pitch. Eight elves. He's got eight elves. So a bit of a chance for Rego still, but uh, I mean yep. I think that's that matchup favors the high elves. I think particularly in this build, I think it's a good, I think it's a, a quite a good build for the, uh, the high elves to be honest. Right, so there's no riot, so he just goes for attrition. And if he gets attrition on the first two blocks, he could make the foul. Couldn't he? He probably won't. <laughs> but he could. Like if there were two Kaz no regens, then maybe make the foul to try and be men up for the second half. Oh really, Jellio? That's pretty <laughs> brutal. Wow. So it's more Rego stopped the score and tied nil nil then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of amazing Davo didn't score if he got the ball on turn one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's go. Nope, not going. Thick skull doing work. Yeah, unbelievable, Jeff. Not going for the surf. He could have set up for the potential surf there, couldn't he? <laughs> I just need three dice to avoid the skull. <laughs> Ah right, mongoose. Yeah, I, I always seem I do that. I seem to do that a lot. <laughs> Doesn't take the foul. Not taking the risk there. No, there's no point. He, ne he needed two yeah. removals um, yeah. Yeah, because absolutely. he's got two reserves. So he, he either needed two cars or two KOs and hoped they both wouldn't come back and hope to get a third. Like it was, it was such low odds of, of the foul being vaguely worthwhile. So as dwarves, what are you doing on defense to try and flip the score here? Um, other than hoping that <laughs> the Camry just can't pick the ball up for four, five or six turns. People love to, that's another thing that people love to say, just hoping that they 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 <laughs> they're better than most are picking up the ball. They're seventy five percent. Most teams are sixty seven percent. They're literally better than most teams are picking up the ball. Um, but mostly just base people and get punched because at the end of the day, you know, they haven't got that much block. They've got four block, um, you know, three rerolls just to hope something goes wrong for them, you know, like that one in nine that Lark Star ate and got a guy KO'd. Um, just, just you know, base them up, cause problems, try and get in the way and hope it breaks down. Like, they've got to be aggro. I think they've got to be very, very aggressive and just really swarm them. And just or oh, like get a blitz, oh, or get a blitz. blitz. That helps. Or get a blitz. Uh, not a lot he can do with this blitz. It's a good setup by the. Yeah, it is, isn't camera. it? Very conservative setup from Larkstar yeah. there. Very nice. But still like to see it if you're the dwarves. Oh yeah. How old is that? Night? Ooh, it looks like he's gonna be hitting the stand firm though. I don't know if I love that. <laughs> Relying on Dauntless to get the one day, I don't like that. Mm, and it fails. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dauntless. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Would he have been better off not standing firm there? Could he have blocked? No, I guess he couldn't have blocked the dwarves through no. with his body. No, I don't think so. Nah, it wouldn't. It, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, he's just gonna base people up, isn't he? You know, like that's the thing. They're agility force. They can't. They can't dodge agility four. Agility. They will be agility four plus in the new rules. They're agility <laughs> two, so they can't really dodge away or anything. Um, and they can only make you know one days and stuff. The tomb guardians are tied up, so like they are very immobile on offense, aren't they, Kenry? So like by doing this, he he kind of is locking them down a bit, and this is where it gets messy for Kenry. Yeah, there's only two players free other than the ball carrier. Yeah, he can he can block free a team guardian here. Yes. And he's going to be. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pen of you. I mean, but you know, it's... <laughs> Look, there's a lot of people that would have just set up, like, all in, on the LOS like an idiot. <laughs> and he didn't. So, good for him. If you, if, if you cast your mind back to the World Cup <laughs> and a certain offset LOS... <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are other options to uh, set up, so... I mean, it's saving, and like that's the thing, isn't it? PC does have to get the turnover, like stopping the. He could play this a lot differently if his goal was to stop the score, but the fact that his goal has got to be to turn over the Camry yeah. does make it tricker, and it does mean that he's got to be more, more risky, more aggressive, whatever you want to call it. So. Blitz the blitzer. I mean, he's still going to have three people screening, isn't he? So. Yep. Hmm. That's fine. You can even put him there so he's screened from the side. Not that it really matters. Like, you probably just want him there or there. Or here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. And then he can just be in there. I don't think he needs that. But maybe. Oh look! Wow, if it Emery was a... picked up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh look! If, if it was elves, they would have failed to pick up the ball. <laughs> oh, there's a nice cast for him. Yep. Probably apples this regardless. Just in case of like, it's, it's really bad. But he probably wants to keep it for a kill next turn. That was a tough call, especially in 15 seconds. I kind of hate that, that you have Apo decisions for 15 seconds on a like on a thing that can decide the game. Like, frequently, them. Apothecary decisions can decide the game. And obviously your player's life as well in, like, in, in progression. It seems great. Like, I feel like if it's a perm, you should get longer to, to, to you know, consider it or whatever. That could be, that could be a thing. Cause like you, you don't want to have like you know a minute every time somebody gets killed or whatever, but it's kind of rubbish to only have fifteen seconds to, to like you know decide yeah. whether to apple your minus agility two hundred and eighty SPP guy. You know, <laughs> chess clocks. Yeah, chess clocks would be uh, the way, the way of the future. <laughs> Back, very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's pretty great. And if this is a push, he gets a 2D. He actually gets a 2D a Tomb Guardian. Outrageous. It is a push. Yeah, I don't know why not. With mighty blow as well. He's gonna blitz him, maybe to protect the uh, runner from this. <laughs> this guy somehow. Ce joueur 
préfère se battre entouré. Un blocage de ce qui a Oh, here we go. Wow. That is huge, isn't it? Yes, it is. If, uh, I mean, it's going to help PC trying to turn this ball over. It goes to overtime. That's a, that's a big one. Yep. He does not. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> he makes the four plus dodge. Got to base that Tomb Guardian yeah, before you turn this out. No. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just a little bit of dramatic effect there. Yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't sound stupid at all, does it, Jelly? I mean, the guy hasn't got Mighty Bow, so you're trading one versus one, a 70k player versus a 140k player. Um, and not just on Vout TV value, it's also the value of having one of his three strength five, like pillars, guard pillars, if you like. You've got loads of other guard. He's only got like you know what three guard on the team um, now because one guard's gone. So I mean, he has two relevant. Yeah, he has two two relevant tomb guards this uh, this turn. Yeah, and probably next turn as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, after for, losing one, and then the other one is on an island out there. Yeah, for sure. He's on. He's called this. He's called this long beard Darrell Revis. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Interestingly, though, it looks like he's going to move over that way, get away from some of those dwarves, but then that's going to leave the stand firmer <laughs> yeah, out there, yeah. too. He's got his three guys so really, really scattered. So whichever way... Like, obviously, it might be harder for PC to disentangle his dwarves to get them over the other side, but still. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, again, this is all just wasting time by Larkstar. He does not need to score... To win this yep. game, he's just got to hang on. That's and true. every turn that ticks by is making it harder and harder for the dwarves, who are all stacked up on the left there to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, the dwarves, the dwarves uh, don't need any uh, any Viagra. <laughs> this, this is rock hard. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course the no follow up there to put two two dwarves on a, on a turn guardian is lovely, isn't it? Cheeky wanna to free up a Scannington. Oh, did he run out of time? He did. Oof. Didn't move the skeleton he just freed up. Oof. Well, in uh, in the other match, <laughs> on Davo's drive, the ball is on a saurus in a cage. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, and then the uh, the dauntless fail again gets the one D reroll. Oof. I wonder if I wonder if that's been a classic A dev. <laughs> the only reroll lizards need is the pick up on a Saurus on the opponent's drive. <laughs> 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 but uh Devo's got the wrestlers, so he's always gonna have a chance to uphill it, isn't he? Uh dodging and uphill it. So it's it's not yeah, that I believe our next thing. game will be the yeah, I believe our next game will be the loser of that match against the winner of this match. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Yep. Allez les gars, tous ensemble. <laughs> yeah, hey, Dev, that, that was fantastic. That was really A Sor fantastic. Soros intercept. Oh boy. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, exactly. Basing the ball just gives him gives him a free assist to his blitz, doesn't it? That's that that is the problem with ball basing most of the time. Most of the time when you base the ball, what you're doing is giving your opponent a free assist on their blitz. Yes, you're dictating where the blitz goes. Yeah, the Camry can just cage up here they, with with the amount of free players they have practically. Yeah. But this is okay though, with these guys being down, it's 
it's you know it's not easy. I could blitz with a tomb guardian and then get two tomb guardians in the same place. But then if he does, then the others are all right. Like it's hard. He's got to keep. He's kind of got to keep PC stretched as well, hasn't he? So it's it's very tricky. Like if he had all three tomb guardians together, he'd be plain sailing, wouldn't he? But if he tries to get two of them together, then that means yeah. But uh, I mean, I guess he could have he could have blitzed with one and then gone back to the center and then like you know blitzed with the other one and got back to the center and tried to do something like that. So it looks like he is pushing right. He's looking to free one up here. I think yeah, he's just going to punch him, punch him twice now, isn't he? Because he can still use this as a cage corner, uh, prov well, provided he gets the pal. <laughs> yep. Yep. Even if he doesn't, yep. he could stand on the sideline. <laughs> okay, now he really wants to get the pal. Oh, he goes a bit tighter. He can still get. Back ended here. Um, this guy can kind of close this off, can he? Yeah. Okay, yeah. On a one D though. Oh. Yeah, quite right. Actually, that was pretty good, wasn't it? And then that, that becomes the screen here. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can follow. Yeah. So that gave that gave him the option to follow as well. So that was that was pretty nice. From Lark Star. Uh, PC can come around the back and hit this ball on a 1D. Yeah, yeah, it's not hard. Get it, it, maybe. Yeah, get it into the uh, in, into the crowd on a on a pow. You could actually even 2D, yeah, potentially. Mm. Depending on how much you wanted to put into it, um, yeah. you could have brought you know you could have brought this guy down. And hit with a troll slayer, and then move this guy around, and you know, freed up the troll slayer. He could have moved. He could have, yeah, he could have done things, maybe. <laughs> um, no, no, he's already got an assist here, so he just he could he just he's just got to bring this guy in. There was a guy up here. He could have just brought a guy in and two did. Like he has. What I'm looking at though, time. Jellio, is that he's got to turn him over and score, or he's done. Yeah. So he's got to start hitting the ball, you know. Larkstar is happy to move. He doesn't even Larkstar doesn't even need to push forward. He can just fall back and cage if he wants. Yeah, that's the thing. I think he's got to he's got to play it more aggressively than he, than he would if it was nil. If it were, if it was nil nil, um, oh, he could if he'd if it was one one, like if it was one nil to PC, like it, you know, not that it should have been in terms of anything, but like you know how yeah. you kind of expect to score on your drive, like you should be one nil up. If if PC is one nil up, then it's this is pretty easy to stop the score. If it's nil nil, he could go for stopping the score and taking it to overtime. But being one nil down, I think he has to has to maybe force the action more than he would like. Oh. Oh, that's a good break. One less free player. Oh, but he ran out of time. Oh, nightmare. That could be it for PC. That could be. Yeah, the that the could coffin. be. That's a horrible running out of time. That is the weakness of dwarves in Blitzpit, isn't it? Uh, if wood elves or lizards run out of time, then your whole team runs a million squares, and it's not so bad. Dwarves run out of time, and oh, you've got four. You've got movement four everywhere. There's no coming back from this now. And now, oh, I don't know this. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is probably okay. Yeah. He's gonna stir. I don't think he's staying for it. I think he's running through here and. Oh, no, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving past those two tomb guards. Yeah. Cause there's no one to get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a million movement. Uh, there's still a V a million as well. <laughs> Some say they're overpowered. Yeah, the throw rod doesn't have block exactly, yeah, so it's... Oof. The, I didn't think that, I mean, 
you know, people were discussing, Ruzi, whether you would rather play the Lizards or the, uh, or the Camrias, uh, what else. And I kind of would have rather played the Camry just because, yeah, you can one dice him, like, it's not that bad, is it? Um, and yes, the, the, the pawn oh tackle God, might, you've got more chance of, like, looking you with removals, but lizards are just so oppressive, aren't they? And they're so good, even though they've got skin carriers that you can maybe abuse. Like, lizards are just horrible. Like, the Kemri, they've got to get lucky with their tackle mighty blows against against elves, or they're just going to lose. That's my, that's my analysis. <laughs> right, is this going to be a run of blitz? Dodge through blitz? That push really, uh, really pisses in his weaker bits. And to be fair, this is also the weakness of basing the ball because if he based the ball like you know last turn or whatever, then he ends up further out of position, doesn't he? So like, even ball sacks can you lose you the game by getting out of position, and. Uh, Ooh! <laughs> gets through. Yeah, it gets the pow. And gets the pow. All right. There is a game on, folks. It is uh, desperate times for the dwarves, but it is on. Look at that. Where's this bounce going to go? Yeah, no, and, the, and the tackler is the tackler is used up as well. So yeah. this could be just what PC needed, actually. Oh, and makes a critical dodge there, too. Uh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, one too many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the power of K-Fog compelled him. <laughs> I, 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 I know what he was going for there with that, with that blitzer at the end, but I feel like that blitzer kind of needed to maybe control these two free guys down in uh, the in uh, Larkstar's half there. Because he yeah. does have to score still. He can't yeah. just stop the score. He's got to score. That's true. That's true. Um, it's true, isn't it? Like, you know, an attempted an attempted ball sack or whatever can, can cost you the game. And then ball basings have that same kind of cost, but without, without the payoff. <laughs> I, I didn't like I didn't like Larkstar's positioning last turn anyway. I, I thought he had to keep that tackler um, in a better spot than he was. To be honest, it was imperative that the tackler was around to deal with the uh, runner, and he wasn't. So yes, you may give him a one D on the ball or whatever, but you have to have that tackler back to put him down afterwards. A bit like when one of your guys gets killed by you know a bill hook, you've got to still be able to make sure you can punish him the next turn. Get your crossbow hit in to <laughs> make him pay. <laughs> I don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, we're bat we're battle brothers thing. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't even real. And I don't I, just, think, I, just... I don't know why Larkstar didn't want that. I don't know why Larkstar moves that skeleton up. He doesn't have a safety at all, and this Blitzer is only a three plus away right now. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. But ball is pretty safe. I mean, not safe, but well controlled. Yeah, yeah, it's it's still going to be tricky for PC to uh, to do anything. <laughs> can, can a one a one D can free two dwarves though yes. on this uh, the block guard tomb guardian. He's got four turns, one reroll. He has got that. He's got to stand up the troll slayer first. Doesn't. <laughs> does he go for the scatter? Yes, he does. All right, looks like a ball scatter. Yep. Yeah. See where we're going. No, we're good. <laughs> Maybe another scatter here. Yeah, oh, that's it's a GFI to hit, isn't it, with this guy? Oh, now it's not. A bad. It's oh, but he can. Now it's a one D. 
He <laughs> gets the power. Oh, look at that. Oh, he doesn't, doesn't go scatter. For the uh, maybe not a bad idea, though, because now he's got oh. control of the situation and the Kaz. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yet either. That's a good point. Scatter could have gone in the crowd and everything, and yeah. next turn he can knock him out. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's a GFI away from scoring, potentially. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, he did stand up that guy just in the nick of time. He stood up the trolls there. Yeah, yeah. Still, yes. though, I mean, not a, he's got to get the ball and score. That's a long way to go. And it his is. best scoring threat is probably going to get hit by a Tomb Guardian. No, no, his best scoring threat is definitely the runner still. As deep as he is, it's only one GFI uh, to score at the moment. It's only one GFI? Okay, fair enough. Still tough. I think it'd be a lot less tough if he had like three rerolls still, the same as Larkstar, but yeah, Larkstar's certainly not out of it as he, st he can definitely, oh god, he can get Tomb Guardian right in here and stuff. Or whatever. Runners are fast, yeah. I think he definitely gets the gets the Tomb Guardian here, because even on a push, it means yeah. he can push him and then onto the Tomb Guardian to get another block. So yeah, I like that. I like that Blitz a lot. Glorious. So Blitz no, a lot. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Blitz Ra's got Go block. PC. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Uh, sorry, I've, I've got the grand thing to get this. It's Muppet. Uh, thank you, Muppet. Seven months streak. No, sorry, m nine months. Seven months streak. Glorious. Thank you very much. Over two entire beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Sorry that I didn't have the activity feed up. It's it's a relatively new thing, you know, about about a year ago. So I haven't got used to it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Former two-time Flim Flum Bluserweight champion. <laughs> and there it is. Ball is now clear for that runner. Yep. That was the thing. He really wanted to get the knockdown there so that he could have got the Tomb Guardian right in. Without getting the Tomb Guardian right in, this is free players for PC. And yeah, that 1 in 81 is actually brutal as well. So now the, the potato is looking... Pretty much on. Le joueur nain vient de récupérer le ballon. Les pas dans leurs habitudes. Ils doivent tramer quelque chose de pas net. Oh, oui, oui, oui. Is he can just get faced up? No, maybe not. I was thinking oh, yeah, about dodging makes... through the dodging through the tomb guardians there. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Try, uh, try joining in here. Jens, what? Oh, and Rick joining in. Sounds like uh, Andy's game ended, huh? It it did. Um, Regor is through to the grand final, and Andy Ooh. will be playing the uh, the winner of this one. How's it going here, guys? It's, uh, it's uh, we are in desperate times for PC. He is uh, trying desperately to force overtime, uh, but he's got a shot. He has got some life here. Exciting conclusion coming up. Yeah, it's a, interesting from PC. I don't know why he just didn't double boat. Du, du, I don't know why he didn't double base the Tomb Guardian. Um, because this is the obvious thing. As Unseen Walker said, the Tomb Guardian can blitz base. And yeah, How did we end up in this 1-0 in this situation? Uh, so yeah, so PC's drive was just crushed by the Camry. <laughs> it was just crushed. Oh. And, uh, and then, yeah. And he's turned over the Camry on their drive. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so so this is the Kemri drive. Uh, Kemri just crushed the the dwarf drive, but now PC has managed to uh, get the ball off Larkstar, and he's made some lucky removals as well, which have helped. Tomb Guardian Kaz didn't regen. Uh, he's killed the Blitzra, but it's still absolutely hanging by a thread for PC. He's one nil down. He's got out of rerolls. Only two turns left. So nice time to have the dodge skill. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's one, got one. He's one GFI. Have to stay to score, one GFI required, right? <laughs> yeah, one GFI to make, and then 
Well, no, there is going to be a safety here. There's, there's at least one free skeleton right now that can get down there. But it uh, looks like PC can free up one dwarf of his own. Yep. And there goes the safety. <laughs> a little bit. The safety skelly. <laughs> no. Interesting. How much of a safety now? Interesting. I don't know if I like that. Oh, Straight oh he makes dodge. it. Yeah. Made sense to do it instantly, didn't <laughs> it's it? a little scary. If he fails that, he's lost. There's no need to do any safe yeah. moves first. Just do that, see what happens. Yeah. And the GFI. Makes the GFI. Yeah, I like Can't that. make the other one. Yeah. The other one's not going to save him if uh, everything goes wrong here. Yeah. And then now he needs to GFI with a, with, a, with a blitzer, doesn't he, to shore this side up. Yep. Oh, he's... Oh. He, oh. oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Who's going to blitz then? Is he going to do like a dwarf dodge blitz or something? <laughs> oh, he's going to do the 1D block and then he can blitz with the other one. <laughs> that is how PC wins games. <laughs> oh dear. He still hasn't blitzed, has he? Uh... Is he going to troll slayer blitz? <laughs> he didn't blitz, you're right. Yeah. Um. If Larkstar blocks with the Tomb Guardian backwards on the Blitzer, he can make a dodge out double GFI for the Blitzra to get to the runner. It's all very dicey being Ange too, though, isn't it? Because the other skeleton as well needs to dodge if you want an assist. Yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't want to spend a reroll on any of this because he still has that advantage going into overtime. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. It's not like uh, dwarves find it easy just uh, banging <laughs> it in with no rerolls. Well, so even if you say that, he's had a pretty good turn there without rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he does that again. <laughs> yeah, all that was with no rerolls. Wow, what a turnaround for PC. Here we go. Wowie. What's the desperation play by Larkstar to save the game? It's what Rick called, I think. I think it is, yeah. yeah. Do you dodge the skeleton as well? Like, first action, just dodge GFI and face the runner. You could. You could do the Skellington first and then not re-roll that. And yeah. then, if that works, then yeah. you use the re-roll on the, on the Blitzra stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah, because yeah. the, the double base in itself is kind of good, right? Oh, it looks like he's just taking the uh, the palm hit to do attrition here. He now. could just Otherwise do the blitz here. And, yeah, just yeah, do blitz the blitz here. Base. base, then dodge the skeleton and double base. Yeah. That's what he's doing. I think that might be too conservative, to be honest. And it's hard to say, though, because PC, again, no rerolls. So, I mean, I guess the worst. Worst case, he's uh, making a one and nine. Well, we'll see if this uh, skeleton can dodge. Skeleton yeah. dodge GFI works. It's... Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that has to be a just click. <laughs> oh dear! Wow. That uh, gives me uh, gives me flashbacks of my own uh, <laughs> my own every game and blitz it. Now this really looks like not enough. <laughs> yep, and certainly it was. We're going to overtime. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be back in just a minute, I guess. Yeah, that was some proper Mountain Elf stuff, wasn't it, Space? The dwarves managing to get through there. <laughs> it really was, yeah. That was a lot of dice rolls. Now it's Turns out, do dodge on a dwarf. Jim, uh, sometimes good. Oh, yeah. I, thought I, I love the bludge, the bludge runner. This is a huge kill roll coming up. Oh, the tackler comes back. Yeah, really nice success. Absolutely huge, that isn't it for the king? Even just the movement six block is so much better than having a skeleton. But then, yeah, the, when you consider that the runner is uh, is blodge as well, but it looks like the Camry have won the task, which 
Oh man, this is such a long shot now for the dwarves. Yeah, without re-rolls, um, it's the thing. There's still eleven. There's still eleven on both sides. Um, PCs. So the dwarves obviously movie. found a way to, to turn over the Camry that half. How did they manage that? Uh, they, well, they they removed the tomb guardians were very spread out, and then one tomb guardian was removed. Oh, there was a blitz. There was a blitz. To be fair. A blitz kick off result, but the tomb guardians were quite spread out, and then one got randomly cast, and then mm. uh, and you know he just he didn't really have anything going for him on offense after that point. So, am I missing something? Y yeah, I did. Larkstar. Wait, oh no, that's that was uh, PC on they could setup. Be paused. Yeah, yeah, they must be paused. <laughs> Uh, it should be pointed out too in Larkstar uh, for Larkstar, uh, his day started because I believe he's Western, uh, West Coast, North America. I don't know if he's Canadian or American. His day started at 3 a.m. for Blitz Pit, and he's been soldiering <laughs> through since. So uh, wow. you can uh, you can expect uh, the odd Tomb Guardian misclick dodge here and there. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive, it. isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice that, and then they were talking about it in Discord. That I mean, I barely made it for six a.m. <laughs> Three a.m. That's brutal. I was uh, I was saying in my channel before that because I beat Larkstar game one, he'll have had to have played three more games in the grand final than the person coming through the winners bracket. He's played a lot of blood ball this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, they must be on a pause. Yeah, yeah. Oh, PC cigarette, a, cigarette. I did. I just saw chat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, PC is a smoker, isn't he? And uh, he often ducks out of Among Us games. <laughs> smoker and smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, actually, he might be better off on defense almost at this point, PC. You know, if uh, if Larkstar has to use rerolls to protect the ball and stuff. Um, yeah. And then, you know, if you can get it, if you can just defend and get it to... You know, kicks. That's all right, isn't it? Because his his offense was an absolute absolute shambles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing. Is based on the results of the two drives, you'd want to face Larkstar's Camry on uh <laughs> on their offense instead of their defense because they were night and day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right here we are. We're back. <laughs> There's a, know, there's a big benefit though on an offense where you know you can just score yeah, whenever. Yeah. That's true. It's all right. That's true. There's no need to try and stall it. But there was no need to try and stall it last last half for last. I didn't have to score at all, and he still got turned over. Uh, <laughs> you know. And also, he knows that he can most like he doesn't. He knows he doesn't have to score most likely. So just there's a lot of situations he could eat the eat a fail and save the reroll. That's true. That's true. The one he can't is the is probably the shallow kick pick up. Yeah. <laughs> Great presenter in the background. <laughs> yeah, even even against dwarves, the shallow kick is scary for Kemri, um in case they they want him for the the pickup, right? Just in, I think it's more the one in nine blocks, isn't it? Because if they fail the pickup, so what? It's not. It's not that bad. Whereas if the one in nine a block, then do you re-roll it? Do you eat it? If you eat it, it can go horribly. And then if you yeah. if you don't if you re-roll it, then you know the equity has uh, has swung a little bit towards PC. <laughs> yeah, we already saw a, a two 0 kick advantage overturn earlier today in uh, Chalice uh, in Fatin versus Waynefarer. I, w I won't say any more. Uh, in case I'm spoiling it for anyone, oh, <laughs> that's, wow. that's probably pretty spoilerish enough. But uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's I'll, that's crazy, isn't I'll, it? I'll I'll leave it there. But uh, but yeah, two two nil. You know, it, it can happen, but it's not a guaranteed win. No, absolutely not. Looks like he's going to carry on the skeletons. I thought he might opt to carry it on the blitz round just because it's faster and it has block. Oh, did the uh, did the thrower stay out? Yeah. yeah. 
so I thought he might carry on a blood throw, but it looks like based on how he set up, he's gonna carry on Skellies. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have to he doesn't have to score, does he? And this leaves his like I don't know, the palm's a bit crap. Yeah, I wouldn't mind carrying on the palm there. Like the I think the tackle is important, but then having blocks important because you don't use rerolls, do you? Having block on your ball carrier could come into play and faster movement, of course. Could, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a right and a wrong, you know, like, that's what I mean. That's, yeah, that's it's what definitely, yeah. Yeah. Like, if it was Orcs, you would definitely carry in a Blitzer, because you've got four. But, <laughs> <laughs> but when you've got... When you've got the one tackle guy, you can't carry on him, because he has to be able to deal with the, uh... with the runner. And the POM is more expendable in terms of his mighty blow and panning on. It's probably not going to do anything against Armour 9 Dwarves. But the block is important for making blocks, isn't it? He also he he only has three block players because uh, the one of the tomb guardians that was moved is one of the block ones. Yeah, he could set up to do it to where he's consistently three dice in though, doing the block blocks and then the three dice with the other one. Yeah. But still, he's still he is still the fact remains he's down a block. And yeah. already, so carrying on a carrying on a blitz round went down two blocks, which when you read only use any rerolls at all this half. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, obviously he's going to use them if he has to, isn't he? But he can he can afford a fail pick up here. Uh, good old Kenry not being able to pick it up. Oh, Let's ignore the fact it was a one. <laughs> <laughs> Really interesting, isn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, sometimes I, I, I was, didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to reply because, uh, you know, this is an exciting game. But then I realised it's blood ball and it's a minute of thinking. <laughs> yeah, but we, you know, you no, know, that's fair, fair enough. We got four people in the booth right now to talk at any, yeah. at any given time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just sometimes it depends. Some people, some people upload the basic picture that you can download. And uh, mostly they don't, so mostly not, but sometimes yes. And sometimes you can download things and have a look at it, and, and you know, you can use the, the preview that you get a preview that you can sometimes use somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that uh, Larkstar's plan A here is to get through to kicks or to go forward to get the score? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that's it, isn't it? It's what it's one of those. You just you just you make sure you don't get turned over, and then if you can score at any time, you score at any time. I don't think you you can have a plan really. You've got to react to what PC. Yeah, exactly. Was that was that a yes no question? I, I don't know. Yeah, I think that was. You try and do both, really, don't you? Like he definitely doesn't want to get turned over. He definitely doesn't want to use rerolls unless he absolutely has to. Um. So just survive somehow, I would say. Then they're so, they're like they're not they're not humans even, are they? You know, like even humans could try for a quick score. Kemri just can't try for a quick score. Like they can't try to outpace the dwarves or anything. There's no like there's no high scoring offense moves they can do to try and make it a fast drive. It's just not possible, is it? Yeah. Well, unlike the last defense for the dwarves, though, they're not basing up nearly as much as they did yeah. uh, on the first two turns. Now, obviously, the blitz helped out, uh, helped make that decision for them a little bit. Yeah. But uh... but also, there was the fact that PC knew he absolutely had to turn him over. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That was the biggest thing, I think. But you know, he almost has to turn him over this, this half as well. Almost. I, I would still like the I would still like to see aggressive basing from PC, um, just because you know you really want to see that one in nine, don't you? If you see if there's a one in nine comes, then, you know he's either got to reroll it or read it, and if he eats it, things can happen. It's what dwarves are built to do, right? Armor nine, thick skull. They, they love a good basing. Yeah. 
this has been a nice turn from Larkstar to do the chain pushes to free up guys and yeah, maximize his blocks. Yeah. And that stun is his reward currently, which is quite nice, isn't it? It gives him some breathing room from the inevitable. I think there is an inevitable basing here at some point. So maybe that's delayed it by a turn. Um, but I think I think PC is going to have to just get in at some point and then pray for a 1-9 or whatever. Who else is in BB Tactics? Uh, tensions. It is, it is good. He's done well, hasn't he, Rego? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's uh, It could be. And he's got the advantage, hasn't he? Two rerolls on the ball. But he's still got to beat Devo after this, I guess. Which is... <laughs> he's probably not favoured, but I mean, he can certainly high roll with the, uh, the palm and the tackle mighty. Yeah, the dwarves all uh, fancying themselves against the hells a lot more than the the Camry rides. I would think so. Yeah, it's a little bit rock paper scissors going on here. And Andy was the one to put PC into the losers bracket, so you know PC wouldn't uh, wouldn't wouldn't hate a second shot at that team. Yeah, I, I would have fancied the dwarves. That did you guys cover it? How did that one go? No, I didn't see that game. Not fair. Uh, it sounded like it sounded like I think that was a game where Davo got. Pretty lucky, but now maybe I'm mixing that up with uh, with his last game. I don't I don't recall. Um, he certainly he won it he won it in overtime, like after winning the toss. So I guess you know. Oh, that was day, that one. Yeah. If PC had won the toss, maybe he would have won. Like there's a, there's a lot of luck, isn't there, in this overtime format? Like if PC had won the toss here, you would probably be back in PC to win. Right now, even even at zero to two, you'd probably still slightly favour him. Just the fact that he won the toss. And now losing the toss, uh, bad times. Hey, Gdanik, have we had any games settled in kicks this tournament? I feel like uh, I haven't seen any. I haven't heard of any. And that was uh, that was a pretty big feature in uh, in uh, qualifying or uh, last couple of, last couple. Of games. Yeah, yeah. Surprised. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's been any kicks. Oh, I'm back in the mix, Captain. Hey, Smiles, is that better? Is he going to like you? I think I was just starting to get grumpy on that then. Oh, he's wearing them. I'm asking about your cheeks. My dog is cuter than your kid, Rick. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm surprised that PC exposed the, uh, the bludger there to the mighty blow tackler. That's pretty pretty scary. Yeah. Losing him would be huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, Penny Mew. Dwarves versus Camry, Camry versus the ball, I would say. <laughs> the funny thing is they rolled a one and a two, so it's not even Camry, it's it's just any any team that isn't a team that starts with show hands or Ratch Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a typical one of the only ways you can lose with Lizards games <laughs> where you just <laughs> where you just roll a one and a two and you're like oh. Wish I could get your hands on a normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dorf versus Kemri is prime kicks material. Yep, yeah, that really is. He's finally done it. Edge two, not a factor. <laughs> Just as if all the time runs out. <laughs> Also, it's a good point that, uh, well, a good point, it's a good thing that I just thought of is that PC ran out of time one turn, didn't he, on that last drive? Yeah, and it was pretty bad too, it was a pretty bad time to do it. Yeah, so he's really got to make sure that he doesn't do that again. Yep. Perhaps I'm not doing safe moves first here. No rerolls. I think he should have done the safe moves first.
Right now, PC is thinking heavily about his unfinished cigarette, not safe moves. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got to pick those guys up on the floor. Like, okay, sure, they're not super relevant, but they're not going to go anywhere else. So Maybe, maybe they are. Maybe he's gonna up. Maybe he's gonna like one day blitz and then uphill the thing. No, okay. Yeah, he should have stood them up. There. Getting away with it. I think he's got to tag the tackle here, hasn't he? Just to protect. Yeah, his own. that's what I was thinking. And he does. Now maybe we'll see these guys stand up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. One of the one of the Blood Bowl greats of all time. <laughs> Safe one moves D sometimes. One D for a one D. <laughs> Gets the power. Team Guardians are the best kickers. Uh, he's not getting to base up Skellington as much, is he? Uh, I guess technically he has done now. Classic safe moves only before one D's. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. And now he, oh, I was gonna say oh, now he, he can move in for a two D, but he just dodges away. And bases the Skunnington. I do like basing the Skunningtons because they don't have the block and obviously they're edge two, but this is huge, isn't it? What a what a turn that was. Three so many four stuns. stuns. Yeah, really was. <laughs> that has three. obliterated his team. Yeah, you just got to come back with now, and you thank goodness you got the two guardian free to base the long beard that's deepest. You got a free blitz, ra, and and you can just come backwards and be okay. Yeah, I wonder if it was worth basing the tomb guardian with a with a rookie runner. I think it probably was. That would have been a really bad one in night. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he would do a positional, like a repositioning blitz, but he just went right in. Mm. And followed. Mm. This is going to be hard to protect. Must be running back, mustn't he? Sure. Yeah, there's no cage available because you don't have the fourth piece free. You barely have two free. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm not counting the long beard on the back left tomb guardian because at the stand firm, it's it's pretty much safe. Yeah. You can't comfortably get two assists on it. He's just got to run back, there's... There was no other... No other player going on there, was there? These one Ds, I mean, so, you know, never mind one in nines, these are one... That's a one in six, now if the other one's block, it's a one in three. I'm PC, uh, I'm doing my safe moves and then I'm taking this dodge and <laughs> trying to yeah, get that skeleton. Absolutely. Exactly yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, yeah, the 4 plus 1D, very, very tempting after the safe moves. Get the runner looping around a bit to the left yeah. to threaten to pick up the turn after. Oh yeah, bunch Especially of Especially if he moves. can, if he can tag, if he can tag that Palmer as well. Yeah, just tag Setting everything. The everything comes in, the runner, the runner, oh, you've got a GFI to tag the Palmer. But yeah, it seems like a no a mistake because he could have just gone back right and he wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah, I'd the fact that he went that central time, put yeah. him in this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. I like going back, but I didn't like going <laughs> going <laughs> yeah. into this four plus dodge. Like a four plus to one day the ball with block is pretty and good. And he has isn't no it? block, and he's Kimry, so yeah. it's scary as hell. Yeah. I don't like not tagging. I would tag everything. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering about that too. Here is You're so badly missing the fourth two guardian, aren't you? Is the Camry here? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not going in as full ball as I would have done. I mean, he's only got four more turns left. He's not going for the hit on the ball. Going to squeeze more pressure in. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I feel like he hasn't really taken advantage of the, uh, you know, the previous turn. All the I uh, they can still roll dice to tag the palm. It, it's it's a longer term strategy, Ooh. isn't it? 
Stand firm saving him there though. From three and two. Yep. Yeah, this is this looks like a bad bad oh. turn from PC in my opinion. Oh my god. <laughs> and now he's got an awful lot of dwarves on the right hand know. side, hasn't he? The switch is on. Yeah, Everyone's so free now. He's got to get this okay. He gets the runner moved. He's worried he's going to run out of time on the runner. <laughs> he can block the long beard on the LOS and move the skeleton directly to the left of the, that runner, and then he's probably not getting through to the left if he potatoes left here. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty good amount of space. The only thing is he's a bit too far back now um, due to, you know, due to PC not pushing forward. Um, like he just looks really a bit too deep now, doesn't he? But uh, he did have to get that deep, I think. Because PC could have pushed out. Yeah, the, the, the cage mid is not so easy because there is this down player, so like... Um, he can just... I think he needs to use his blitz to free that Tomb Guardian. Instead of maximizing hits. Yeah. Do you need to cage, though? I, I think you can get far enough left to be pretty safe. I would still... Like, even without Cajun, I would want to free the Tomb Guardian if I was him to yeah. get him up. Yeah, and I think you absolutely have to cage, yeah. You can do a bit of a screen. Or, you know, he just uses it to lock them up. Hmm. <laughs> I would have rather just caged. <laughs> yeah, I would uh This is just not reliable, I don't think, because no. there is dice for PC to just move that Tomb Guardian off. He stand front he doesn't have block, so just double GFIs. Well he needs it would be the twenty five percent wouldn't it? He's got to get the double powers. Yeah, and he's got no re rolls. He's got to make moves over here and then get his guys back first, hasn't he? Quite like my chances here as uh, Darkstar. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, but that, that hasn't changed, has it? But it, he might not get the touchdown still. I think he's got to get the Blitzer back. back yeah, the, the Dwarves are quite a nice yeah. chance to get central and back left into the middle of their half if they want to as well, haven't they? And, and then they can have work to do to advance safely after that. He would have had to have used it. You <laughs> never re on the GFI fail, yeah. Yeah, I think he'll he'll do that uphill and then potentially ball. He'll, I guess he'll dodge ball base if he doesn't knock him down at the end of the turn anyway. He could do the 1 in 9 dodge, couldn't he? Just run back. And he just, he just bases him there, I thought. I thought that Blitzer was definitely going back mid. Yeah, I did as well, yeah. I thought I thought for sure he was, yeah. Like, that was my first move was block him and then <laughs> block him and then get the blitzer back. But I guess he's getting the runner back. But yeah, I, I think I, I honestly think I would have done the blitzer back and dodged the runner. Yeah. That's uh yeah. that's about right, Famir. Because the, cause this was still a 1 in 9 block anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. The Dwarves failed an agility play. <laughs> I don't know what team we're watching now. No, no, right? I think he should have gone for the uphill block. Like, it's it's better odds to not turn over, isn't it? Um, but I guess for success state, it was better to do the dodge first. But I just yeah. think you can, you're better off if... I think it was worth it. I obviously only got a minute and he's just doing it. It's not a criticism or anything. But I think I would have liked, personally, to have done the uphill, tried the uphill first. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point that frees him for the next turn. Yeah. Yeah. You can pretty much potato and just give the dwarves the uh, the
the dodge with dodge skill one D right. It's it's not horrible to give up with the dwarves not having a reroll. No. I don't think you can afford to do the blitzer dodge first as the dwarves without a reroll to make it a two D. Oh, and he's going to make that even harder now. Yeah. Can he can just run down and I presume eye cage? That would be what I would try to do here. Yeah, it seems reasonable. The, the problem with the eye cage is you're almost forcing the blitzer dodge with guard, and then it's a 2D against you. Whereas if you don't eye cage, you're just getting one dice by the runner, which is maybe better. <laughs> yeah, but the one dice is a 2 plus, and the blitzer dodge is a, <laughs> a 3 plus. The ball with nothing on the clock. Would have been a bad. Would have been a bad time to uh, to run out of run out of clock there. Yeah. So did you double GFI the base at the end of the turn? Probably. God, he's really got nothing. He's spread all over the field, isn't he? Here, uh, oh. Oh, 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 that is close to GG. Very close. Yeah. It's taken an awfully long time, but the no rerolls finally uh, paying, um, coming uh, into a fruition. Yep. He did not quad. <laughs> <laughs> You actually want to sideline the skeleton here. Don't be crazy, Rick. <laughs> well, the, the problem with this is that the runner with the three plus dodges can reach. Yep. I mean, could have. I mean, so it's three, 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 way. two, two with dodge skill. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, now it's now it's it. way better. Yeah. So we're looking at a 4-4-3 four, four, or just a straight up 5? Probably just a straight up 5. I don't know if we're going to find the 1D, so I guess we've got to go 4-4-3, four, four, haven't we? Four, four, yeah, it's nice to get the 1D on the uphill, isn't it? Yeah, 4-4-3. Four, four, Looks the play. I don't feel like there's anything else you can do. Probably looking at this and thinking at this right a minute, and he's probably just going to do it as soon as. Ooh, I, I hate that reroll. That's terrible. Surely not on an irrelevant block. Completely irrelevant. That's, that's genuinely. That's begging, that's begging for some dice right here is what it is. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, nah, there you so go. He's gonna GFI There's your and dice. Do the five plus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. That might have been better. I don't know which was better. But. Camry doing what they do best and beating dwarves. Absolutely. That reroll. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> However it is going to be, we're going to get Kemri against High Elves. That's going to be one hell of a matchup, and it's coming up next. Oh, yeah. I think there's no, like, break or anything. <laughs> There'll be a few minutes of break, I think. Um, so, yeah, congrats, Larkstar. Commiserations, PC. And, uh, yes, uh, sorry, this is the this is my YouTube outro, Rick. <laughs> Thank you very much, Skuro, Try, and Rick. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.